Breaking news, now at 7, a man is shot and killed by officers after they say he waved a gun at them on Harrison Avenue in Cheviot. Not on your side, reporter John Genovese is among our several crews out there on the scene tonight. He joins us live with an update. John? Well, as we speak, Cincinnati police investigators are in the process of collecting evidence. They have been out here for several hours now. Take a look behind me. This is where we are at Harrison and Budino. Harrison closed off, and this is the first in uh, two locations involved in this officer involved shooting. You can see that gray truck there, uh, its window shattered out. We're told this all began after someone called in a report of an intoxicated man waving a gun. Around 30 minutes later, police tell us they got a second call about that truck crashing here again in the 3200 block of Harrison, right on the side of this BP gas station. When officers were called to the scene, uh, Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Steve Saunders walked us through what they say happened next. Take, take a listen. When they got to the area a short time later, there was an accident close to this area of Harrison and Budino. After the officers arrived at the scene of the accident, they determined that possibly the suspect who had left the vehicle just crashed was also the suspect involved waving the gun. The officers confronted the individual Few, few blocks down from the accident scene. Uh, the person initially complied with the officer's request to uh, just really comply with their, their demands and their, and their orders. And as the interaction went on, the person retrieved a gun from their waistband. The officers per perceived that threat. They fired upon the individual, and uh, the shots did take effect. And again, he is deceased. Now we're told three officers all involved in this confrontation firing several shots. As for that suspect, we're told he is a 36-year-old man. At this point, his name has not been released. Again, Cincinnati police investigators working on processing this scene. We're told those officers involved in this will be placed on administrative leave per department policy. And we are expecting uh, to learn more information about all this in the coming hours. But for now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.